Hello football lovers, especially Chelsea fans. As usual, I will provide the latest and most updated news that I have summarized for you. And I want to apologize because I did not provide the latest update in two days because I was sick and I congratulate Chelsea and Chelsea fans on the 4-2 result when facing Brighton. And as usual before we start, I want to say thank you to those who have commented on my previous videos. Thanks to Eddie Joe from Nigeria, Sali Suanan, there is Samuel Cedar, there is also Prince James. Next there is Abdulaziz Elihu, then there is Jesse Barchue, there is King Wilf Yagide, then there is Mr. Seribo, then there is Faisal Osman, then there is Sulu Bukombe, there is James Afoke, then there is Victor Rosinacci, then there is Holy Boss, next there is Musa Yankubakone, then there is Mugabe Edson, there is Dominic Mwameka, then there is Benjamin Asabil, next there is Olue Bube Joseph, then there is Ahmed Nairobi, then there is Mojalefa Chuyu, then there is Ibangayedem, and the last one is Emban Josh. And all friends can leave comments below this video so I can mention it in the next video. Thank you and happy watching. First of all, we will discuss Cole Palmer, a talented young player from Chelsea who just scored four goals in a great win against Brighton. Can he be the new face of the Premier League? Let's see. Cole Palmer is a 22-year-old player who has caught the attention of many people. After leaving Manchester City, he is now shining at Chelsea by scoring 31 goals and 19 assists in 53 matches. In the match against Brighton, he made history by scoring four goals in one half a history that has never been done by any other Premier League player. Palmer does not only rely on his goals, his play on the field is also very impressive. Every pass and dribble he makes shows his class as a player. He is one of only four players to score for England in an international final. All of these achievements make him worthy of a Ballon d'Or nomination, although it may not be his time to win it yet. To become the best player in the Premier League, Chelsea must support Palmer. Enzo Maresca, Chelsea's coach, seems to have found a solid combination of players. However, decisions off the field, such as player recruitment, must support performance on the field. Chelsea need to invest wisely to allow Palmer to shine even brighter. With the talent and potential that Cole Palmer possesses, we could see him become one of the Premier League's biggest stars. If Chelsea can keep this momentum going and provide the necessary support, we could see an incredible journey for Palmer. Next up is Cole Palmer, who scored four goals in one half as Chelsea took on Brighton. Let's explore how this feat changed Premier League history. The game started badly for Chelsea, as Brighton took the lead through Jorginho Rutter. However, Chelsea quickly recovered and produced a stunning attacking display. In the opening 20 minutes, Palmer almost scored, but his effort was ruled out for offside and he also hit the post. However, just a minute later, a Brighton defensive error gave Palmer the chance to score his first goal after being set up by Nicholas Jackson. Palmer then doubled Chelsea's lead with a superb penalty in the 28th minute. It didn't stop there. Three minutes later, he scored his third with a spectacular free kick from 30 yards that left the Stamford Bridge fans in awe. Palmer rounded off the first half with his fourth goal just four minutes before the break, slotting home from Jadon Sancho's pass. With this, he became the first player in Premier League history to score four goals in a single half. And all this happened in just 20 minutes. With this impressive performance, Cole Palmer showed that he is a future star of the Premier League. What do you think about this extraordinary achievement? Will Palmer continue to shine at Chelsea? Next, we will discuss Cole Palmer's reaction after his brilliant performance in Chelsea's match against Brighton where he scored four goals. Let's review it in more depth. On September 28th, 2024, Cole Palmer scored four goals in the first half, leading Chelsea to a 4-2 victory over Brighton and Hove Albion. Palmer became the first player in Premier League history to reach this milestone. What an achievement. After the match, Palmer revealed that he could have scored more goals. In his interview with BBC, he said, I should have scored five or six goals. Palmer was disappointed because some missed chances, but he also appreciated the tactics implemented by his manager.
Palmer explained that Chelsea's game plan was very effective against Brighton. With Brighton's high defense, they were able to exploit empty spaces. Palmer said, we knew how to attack them with the first pass in behind. This shows how important tactics are in football. Interestingly, Palmer also responded to comments from Theo Walcott, who compared him to Arsenal legend Dennis Bergkamp. Although he admits he is too young to have seen Bergkamp play, Palmer is honored to receive the praise. After this win, Chelsea are back in action against Gent in the Conference League on Thursday, before taking on Nottingham Forest in the Premier League. We wonder if Palmer will continue his impressive form in the next few games? Leave a comment below with your thoughts on Palmer's performance. Next, we will discuss a very interesting match between Chelsea and Brighton, which ended with a score of 4-2. Chelsea remain undefeated in the Premier League, and Cole Palmer appeared as a star by scoring four goals in one half. Let's discuss this match in full. The match started at high speed. Brighton immediately surprised Chelsea with a quick goal from Jorginho Rutter. In the first few minutes, Chelsea looked confused facing the pressure from the away team. After conceding, Chelsea tried to rise. They began to control the ball and create opportunities. Cole Palmer was in the spotlight when he missed a golden opportunity. The ball hit the post after receiving a pass from Enzo Fernandez. First goal. Cole Palmer finally scored Chelsea's first goal after taking advantage of a mistake by Brighton defender Adam Webster, who sent a bad pass to goalkeeper Bart Verbruggen. Second goal. Chelsea got a penalty after Jadon Sancho was brought down in the penalty box. Palmer calmly executed the penalty, changing the score to 2-1. Palmer's hat trick. Shortly after, Palmer scored the third goal with a great free kick, straight into the corner of the goal. Fourth goal. Before the end of the first half, Palmer added his fourth with a quick finish from the near post, making him the first player in Premier League history to score four goals in the first half. Let's take a look at the Chelsea players' ratings in this match. It should be underlined. This source is from FOTMOB. Robert Sanchez, 4.7. Several costly errors that benefited Brighton. Although he made several saves, he was not consistent enough. Malo Gusto, 6.6. .6. Struggling to keep Kaoru Mitoma in check. His game was not very convincing. Wesley Fofana, 7.4. Solid enough despite having to face pressure from Brighton's attackers. Levi Colwill, 6.5. A few moments of carelessness, but tried to give his best. Mark Cucurella, 6.4. Had a difficult day lost the duel with Rudder for the first goal. Moises Caicedo, 7.4. Caught in a tight duel with Carlos Baleba, struggled to control the midfield. Enzo Fernandez, 6.3. Had some good moments with his passing, but also lost the ball on a few occasions. Noni Madueke, 7.1. Very effective in attack, but failed to score. Cole Palmer, 9.9. .9. Excellent performance, scored four goals and was the star of the show. Jadon Sancho, 8.4. Good performance. Helped Chelsea's attack a lot. Nicholas Jackson. 8. Wreaked havoc on Brighton's defence despite not scoring. Chelsea are now just two points behind leaders Liverpool, and Chelsea are currently the most prolific club with 15 goals. Enzo Maresca showed that his team is improving. On the other hand, Brighton must reflect on their performance, especially in defence. This match showed how dangerous Chelsea are in attack, especially with Cole Palmer. If they can maintain consistency and improve their defense, Chelsea can be serious contenders in the Premier League this season. Share your thoughts in the comments column about Cole Palmer's performance and Chelsea's strategy. Next, we will discuss Jadon Sancho's extraordinary performance and Chelsea's success in defeating Brighton and Hove Albion. In just 173 minutes on the field, Jadon Sancho managed to score three assists in a row. He showed that he is still a very dangerous player on the wing. After leaving Manchester United, Sancho found his happiness again at Chelsea, where he played an important role in the team's revival. After a loan period at Borussia Dortmund, where he showed brilliant performances, Sancho is now proving himself again in the Premier League. In his last three matches, Sancho has not only appeared as a starter, but has also succeeded in providing very important assists. In the latest match, Sancho's mature pass helped Cole Palmer score a quad trick, bringing Chelsea to a 4-2 win over Brighton. Sancho now has a collection of three assists from two matches as a starter and one from the bench. This shows how efficient he is in helping the team. Chelsea are currently in top form, 
managing to collect 13 points from six matches and occupying a very good position in the standings. With this positive momentum, Sancho certainly wants to continue to be relied on by manager Enzo Maresca. Fans must hope that Sancho can return to show his brilliant performance and help Chelsea win. Jadon Sancho has rediscovered his best form, and Chelsea are on the right track. We are all looking forward to Sancho's next performances and how Chelsea will compete in various competitions. Leave a comment about your thoughts on Sancho and Chelsea's performance. Amidst the noise of the football world, two big names have caught the eye, Declan Rice and Moises Caicedo. Both players have moved for huge sums of money, in excess of 100 million pounds, and fans are left wondering who is better. A year ago, West Ham captain Declan Rice left his club to join Arsenal for a record 105 million pounds. As a defensive midfielder, expectations were high on his shoulders to lead Arsenal to success. Meanwhile, Chelsea spent £115 million to sign Moises Caicedo from Brighton, making him the most expensive transfer in Premier League history. The pair were expected to turn their fortunes around. Arsenal have started well this season, winning four and drawing two of their six games. Declan Rice has settled in well, helping his side to third in the table. However, Chelsea have been no less impressive under new manager Enzo Maresca. They are just one point behind Arsenal, with a solitary defeat to Manchester City. However, while both teams have been solid in their performances, it is the individual statistics of the two players that are starting to catch the eye. In Chelsea's six games, Caicedo has been impressive. He has contributed one assist and recorded 252 passes. Meanwhile, Rice, in five games, has not scored and has only 84 passes. Caicedo is also much more active, with 364 touches of the ball compared to Rice's 142. What is more surprising is that in terms of defense, Rice has only made one tackle, while Caicedo has stopped opponents 21 times. Fans began to wonder, what happened to Rice? When these statistics emerged, fans could not help but be curious. One tackle in five games as a defensive midfielder? Very surprising, commented one fan. Caicedo has always been better. However, although Caicedo seems superior at the moment, Many still believe that Rice has the potential to rise again. With the statistics showing a stark difference, the debate about who is better will continue. Will Declan Rice rediscover his form? Or will Moises Caicedo continue to shine at Chelsea?